after years of work, many of us look forward to retirement. But the cost of living crisis is having an impact on the best laid plans. Where people were taking early retirement, now they're putting it off or even finding they're having to go back to work. There's even a name for it, unretiring. Patrick O'Hagan has been to meet one unretiree. I did work and have a, an occupational pension. Sue was a teacher, she has an occupational pension and we have our state pension. Now it's getting get to the point where it's not really enough <laughs> to have a comfortable lifestyle on. You've got the council tax, electricity, <laughs> gas, petrol for the car um, and food. An IT worker by trade and now in his 70s, Michael Faxey retired 12 years ago and he knows he's better off than most people his age. Michael's true love is books and you'll often find him in schools in Reading reading stories out loud to young children. He thought he'd have enough in his pension to do that for free, but the cost of living has put paid to that. I'd like to be able to do it for nothing, but I can't because the, the money helps with not luxury luxuries. We, you know, we never have a foreign holiday. Uh, we don't go out and eat much, but you know, sometimes you fancy a takeaway. <laughs> Back in 1961, these pensioners in Worthing told the BBC how they were coping with retirement. I'd worked until 60 and I wanted to enjoy life uh, with a freedom. Well, now, how do you feel now? Oh, I'm very happy indeed. Not at a loose end? At Not all. at all. What we've seen in the past few years is a change in terms of pension provision and the fact that we are living longer than we used to live before. So our money, our pots of money don't go as far as it used to. So it means that we have less disposable income to, to spend on leisure. When you've had a job for 40 years in a, in a company that pays you a pension, you expect that that's it, you're going to be fine. Michael Faculty ending that report. And you can see this week's Politics South programme on the BBC iPlayer. Let's